Hello Aries, welcome to another love reading. This one will be all about the person that you're currently thinking about or connecting with. What do you need to know about them, their thoughts, feelings, intentions, and next actions towards you? Um, keep in mind that these readings are meant to be general, so they will not and cannot resonate with every Aries watching. So take what resonates for you, what applies to you, and leave the rest. All right, so let's jump right in, spirits, angels, guides, messages, please, for Aries regarding the person they are dealing with at this time. What do we need to know for Aries in love? For Aries in love. What do we need to know for Aries in love? So let's start with what's going on in your connection right now. For Aries, what does Aries need to know about what's going on in this connection, sir? At this time, what's going on in this connection? Six of Cups reverse. What's going on in this connection for Aries? Queen of Wands. Six of Cups reverse is a card about being stuck in the past, unable to let go of the past. Um, not being over the past, etc. And then I have the Queen of Wands reverse, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. So this could be you, Aries. I feel like someone is still drawn to the past is what I'm getting here. And by, I'm saying someone because this is what's going on in your connection. So both of your energies are here. So let's see what this is about. Tell me about the Six of Cups reverse. Why is the Six of Cups reverse? Why is the Six of Cups reverse? Why is the Six of Cups reverse? Six of Wands reverse. So something wasn't successful in the past. Page of Wands. Yeah, there's like an attraction here, like a like a desire, someone that wants to take initiative, take action, because they're drawn to the past. Bottom of the deck, the Knight of Wands. This is someone that wants to take initiative, is impulsive in a way, is motivated, um, makes moves. And this is all related to the past, to something that happened in the past. Tell me about the Queen of Wands. Why is the Queen of Wands here? Why is the Queen of Wands here? The Lovers, Gemini energy. So this is about a partnership, I feel. Why is the Queen of Wands here? Spirit, why is the Queen of Wands here? The Empress Reverse. So with the Empress Reverse and the Six of Wands Reverse, I feel like something didn't grow, didn't happen, didn't manifest. This connection probably ended badly or ended in the past. Um, bottom of the deck, I have the Five of Cups Reverse. I feel like this is someone that wants to overcome what's happened or wants to overcome the fact that something wasn't successful, didn't grow, didn't manifest. Um, I feel like there's still a desire here, a want, a need in terms of a partnership. And I don't know if this is you, your person, or both of you, um, but at least one of you <laughs> is drawn to the other person. Tell me about the Page of Wands. Why is the Page of Wands here? Why is the Page of Wands here? Eight of Coins. So I feel like this is somebody that wants to put in effort, work on something. Um, this is someone that's probably really motivated here with the Eight of Coin. Um, higher font at the bottom of the deck, Taurus Energy. Four of Cups Reverse, Ace of Cups Reverse. Hmm. Well, the Four of Cups Reverse is a card about being open to new opportunities, seeing an opportunity in front of you, um, going after that opportunity, no longer being checked out or uninterested. But then I have the Ace of Cups Reverse. So it's almost like someone's not over what happened. And it's like they're becoming open to the idea of something again. Or perhaps they've been thinking about this, whatever happened in the past, a lot. And the more they think about it, the more their mind is changing or an idea is forming, etc. 
So let's see how you are feeling about each other. I'm going to have you on one side, your person on the other, Aries. Feel free to flip it if it resonates more for you. Tell me more, Spirit, about Aries and this other person they are dealing with. What do we need to know about Aries and this other person they are dealing with, Spirit? What do they need to know? What does Aries need to know? Okay. Tell me about Aries and the energy they're bringing to this connection. What energy is Aries bringing to this connection? Poetic justice and closed off. Interesting. I feel like something wasn't fair to you and you withdrew. Maybe you made a decision that was like a, a decision that was best for you. Um, maybe you stopped talking to someone, stopped communicating with someone, uh, guarded yourself against someone because you didn't want to be hurt. Tell me about this person that Aries is dealing with. What are their energies? Tell me about the person that Aries is dealing with. What are their energies, spirit? Unexpected event. So they might be doing something unexpected, communicating unexpected, unexpectedly. Or maybe they're going through a tower in their life. Bottom of the deck, budding romance. Romance is in the air. Yeah, it's almost like some sort of romance, love, thoughts about someone else. Um, there's looking inward right after that. It's almost like the more that someone thinks about this other person, the more they're drawn to maybe do something unexpected here. So let's see what else we got. Tell me more for Aries and this other person. What else do we need to know, Spirit? What else do we need to know? What else do we need to know for Aries and this other person? What else do we need to know? Tell me about Aries. We got you are my soulmate twice. And I still check up on you. So even though you're closed off here, Aries, I think you still, this person was probably someone that you had a strong connection with. Maybe this is somebody that it was a past life connection, a soulmate type of connection. I feel like this, I still check up on you. I feel like this is more your person than you. I think they still check up on you. Um, because you're closed off or because they don't know, you know, maybe they don't have access to you or knowledge about what you're doing. But this could be you checking up on this person on social media or whatnot too. I think it's very interesting that you are my soulmate came out twice. It's because I have two decks and a little bit more in this um, of my secret moon oracle deck. I have two decks here at least. Okay, tell me about the person Aries is dealing with. Tell me about the person Aries is dealing with. Spirit. What do we need to know? It's all my fault. What else do we need to know about this person that Aries is dealing with? What else do we need to know? I have a choice to make. Bottom of the deck, I have a choice to make again. Interesting. So, hmm. I feel like this choice will be unexpected. Whatever choice this person is making, I don't think you're going to be expecting it. Tell me more about Aries and their person. What do we need to know, Spirit? About Aries and this other person. Tell me about Aries. What are the energies that Aries is bringing to this connection? What are the energies that Aries is bringing to this connection? Seven of coin reverse. What are the energies that Aries is bringing to this connection? Queen of cups. I feel like in your mind, um, maybe some of you Aries are thinking that investing your heart into this person was a mistake. Maybe some of you feel like you've loved this person for forever, but nothing has really manifested. 
Others of you, I feel like you regret caring for this person for whatever reason. Bottom of the deck, I have the Emperor, Aries energy. There you are. Why the Seven of Coin reverse? Why the Seven of Coin reverse? Ace of Swords reverse. Maybe this person deceived you in some way. Maybe you cut off communication, like I said, with this person. Maybe you haven't heard from this person. And because you haven't heard from this person, some of you could be thinking, well, why am I still waiting around? Why am I still caring? You know, why is, where am I, why is my heart still involved in something that doesn't seem to have a future? Tell me about the Seven of Coin reverse. Why is the Seven of Coin reverse? Yeah, Knight of Cups reverse. This has been very difficult for you emotionally, I feel. I think also there's a lot that was left unsaid. Tell me about the Queen of Cups. And I think it is on your part, Aries. Four of Cups reverse, Two of Swords, Chariot reverse. Yeah, it's almost like um, Cancer energy with the Chariot reverse. There's no movement forward. There's no progression. There's a stuck energy here with the Two of Swords and the Chariot reverse. So there's no movement here. But I feel like you would be open to a new opportunity if this were to happen, if this would be some, if this person would come forward, if they would make that decision that they're making. I feel like you would be open to this. I think a lot of you struggle between, should I let this go, leave this in the past and focus on a future that is completely new? I think a lot of you are stuck. I don't think um, it's, it's, it's been easy to let go because that six of cups was reversed tell me about the person that Aries is dealing with tell me about the person that Aries is dealing with Spirit. what do we need to know about this other person what are their energies thoughts feelings towards Aries The Empress Reverse. Nine of Coin Reverse. Yeah. The Nine of Coin Reverse is a card about not being free. Still having an attachment, still being attached, dependent. Tell me about the Empress Reverse. Why is the Empress reverse? Nine of Swords reverse. Why is the Empress reverse? Why is the Empress reverse? Temperance reverse. See, something is not coming together and not happening. Um, with the Temperance reverse, Sagittarius energy, and Empress reverse, it's like something hasn't been able to be created. Um, there's delays in something growing. There's delays in something being balanced resolved something having harmony because that's what temperance is about and when temperance is reversed it means that there's more time more energy more patience needed uh, more work that needs to be done to bring something into balance i feel like this is ongoing which is probably why the empress is still reversed it could be that your person is not free from something and that's why they have this choice to make it's all my fault whatever they're feeling here there's the Page of Cups. Now, the Nine of Swords is reverse, which, I mean, that could be that someone's overcoming fear and anxiety, but it could also mean that someone's having a very difficult time. Can I get some more insight into the Nine of Swords reverse with Temperance reverse? Tell me more about the Nine of Swords reverse with Temperance reverse. Why is the Nine of Swords reverse with Temperance reverse? Yeah, Six of Wands reverse. I feel like someone's worried, very worried, because something's not happening, not manifesting. Um, maybe they're worried this will never happen, that they'll never have success with you, Aries. The bottom of the deck, I have the High Priestess, which I feel like this is all 
quietly happening or it's behind the scenes in some way. Death reverse, Scorpio energy after that. It's like someone hasn't said that they don't want this to be over or perhaps there's something going on behind the scenes that's not truly over for your person. Let's see, why is the Nine of Pentacles reverse? Why is the Nine of Coin reverse? What's this about, Spirit? Knight of Wands. Why is the Nine of Coin reverse? Why is the Nine of Coin reverse? Six of coin reverse, okay. Can I get one more? For the nine of coin reverse, why is the nine of coin reverse? Hi priests. <laughs> Same energy, and then there's the magician reverse, exactly. Six of Pentacles reverse is very similar to this Temperance reverse. There's no balance. There's a lack of balance here. However, I feel like your person's motivated. I don't think that this is someone that doesn't plan to do anything. I think they want to do something. Um, they just are prevented from doing it right now. Ten of Wands reverse after that. So maybe they need to let go of something. Maybe something's weighing on them. Maybe there's a barrier, an obstacle here. Let's see. What else do we need to know about this person? What else do we need to know about this person? What else do we need to know about this person? The Aries is what we'll be dealing with. What else do we need to know about this person? What else do we need to know, Spirit, about this person? Honest and successful. Ooh, okay. So I feel like this person is very genuine with the honest card here. And um, I think that the barrier could be money. This person is probably very established. Probably they have financial ties somewhere. Maybe they're worried about finances or they're working on their finances. For some reason, finances are important here. I think this person is going to be honest with you about something. Um... What else do we need to know about this person? What else do we need to know about this person? What else do we need to know? What else do we need to know about this person? What else do we need to know about this person? I love you. Yeah, so I feel like the feelings are genuine. I couldn't let you get close to me at the bottom of the deck and I want you. Yeah, there's they're drawn to you, this person. I think they're they're very motivated. Um, so let's see, what are their true intentions towards you? Spare, what are this person's true intentions towards Aries? What do we need to know about this person's true intentions? towards Aries. What do we need to know? Three of Swords reverse. What do we need to know about this person's true intentions towards Aries? Judgment reverse. Eight of Swords. Four of Swords at the bottom of the deck reverse. So I feel like their intention is to do something, but they're stuck. I mean, it just keeps coming up. I think that this is half fear, half being stuck. Um, I think that's why a tower is here. A tower is necessary for this person to make some sort of uh, decision or be able to come forward. I think this person could have made a bad judgment call with a third party. For a lot of you, this person chose the wrong person or in a situation because of their wrong or bad choices here with the Three of Swords reverse and Judgment reverse, and now they're stuck. But I'm also getting that this person, you know, for others of you, I feel like they want a second chance with you. They want to overcome the heartbreak, the difficulty, the conflict, but they're prevented from doing so from whatever reason. Now the Four of Swords is reversed at the bottom of the deck, which gives me hope because this is someone that 
is able to move on or get up, wake up, you know? And then right after that, I have the Page of Pentacles and then the Page of Wands. So this gives me hope that this isn't forever. I feel like there is going to be some sort of positive move forward. I think your person's intentions are genuine. I feel like this is a sincere person. Um, but I feel like this huge obstacle is so big that a tower is needed. Um, and I feel like once this tower happens, which I feel your person is the one that's either going to experience it or be the one that initiates it, then I feel like things can start moving along here. So that's what I have for you, Aries, in terms of how you feel about each other um, and what's going on in your connection at this time. Thank you so much for watching, Aries. I hope you enjoyed the reading. I hope it resonated for you. If you enjoyed it, please hit that like button, subscribe, so you can see more readings from me. Uh, leave me a comment if you want to say hello or want to share if this story resonated. I'd love to hear from you. And I always um, make a point to, you know, keep you guys that leave kind comments in my thoughts because I feel like when you put good energy out there, um, I think it's only right. And hello, 